I knew Emily was my sister before you discovered the truth. I came to Port Charles for a share of the money. The plan was to leave town with my accomplice, Ethan Lovett. Helena Castine did approach me, but nothing came of it. And then the plan fell apart. Ethan told Lucky the truth. When did you find out? Last night, Lucky told me. Look, I'm not proud of what I've done, but it's not like I ran an old lady or a pregnant woman off the road. As if that gives you a right to judge me. You need to stop talking now. Mom? Hmm? Sorry to bother you, but I have a writing lesson in about an hour. I know. Do you really think you've earned that privilege? She was just trying to help, Alexis. You had no business running out of the house in the middle of the night. Yes, she knows. It's very dangerous. Molly and I have discussed it, and I'm sure it won't happen again, right? But riding horses is even more dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. And taking lessons is the best way to, to stay safe. You and I, we should go riding sometime. That would be wonderful. You said that I get the feeling that I'm being set up. Well, we've all made some questionable choices lately, don't you think? Point taken. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just wish I would have listened to you sooner. See, your mother usually knows exactly what to say most of the time. Gee, thanks. You, let's go. You. Kiss me. Bye. 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 Why are you still here? I'm sorry that I hurt you, Nicholas. And I'm sorry that you hate me. But most of all, I'm just sorry you can't see past it. I saw your request for the files on Brianna Hughes. Did you get everything you needed? Yeah, I'm fine for now. Thanks. Good. By any chance, uh, have you seen Rebecca? She came over to the house last night. She she told us all about the scam. And then she left. We haven't seen her since. Was she uh, she called me to asked me to meet her at Jake's last night. She was angry with me and herself. Uh... But, you know, I'm starting to really think that she was in love with Nicholas. You know, if she would just have been honest with the family from the very beginning, none of this would... Well, hello. Sorry I'm late. Well, that is something you're going to have to take up with Epiphany, but, uh... It's good to see you. I was getting a little worried about you. Yeah, I should have called. Mm-hmm. You should have. As a matter of fact, uh, there's a few things we should get straightened out. I better get going. Okay, see you. Uh, I'm sorry, Dr. Quartermain. Oh, Monica. At, at least when we're out of the hospital. <laughs> I've handled this so badly. Yeah, you have. And I expect right now you feel pretty much like your life is falling apart, right? And why do you even care? Because, my dear, you are Emily's sister, and that makes you family. I got your message, then deleted it. It's probably a good idea. I am so sorry about last night. Guess we can't blame Jake's this time. Yeah, the only one to blame here is, is me. You, you came out here just to help me because you love me as a friend, and I took complete advantage of the situation, and I apologize. Oh, don't put it all on yourself. It's not like I just stood there. But it can't happen again. We both have way too much to lose. Lucky can never know what happened. He would be devastated. I know. So, so what? We, we make it a point to s stay away from each other for a while? It's not going to work. Why not? Because Lucky wants me to spend as much time with you as possible. No, you, look, you, you don't have to. I'll, I'll find a way to get myself out of this. I don't want to cause problems for you. It'll be fine if we just act like nothing happened. You think that's possible? I appreciate that you and Edward have been so kind to me, Monica, but you really don't owe me anything, okay? Especially now that you've seen what kind of a person I am. Uh, what kind of person is that? A con, a grifter, a, a thief. <laughs> no. 
No, Ethan is a grifter, and Luke Spencer is a con, definitely. But you are an angry young woman with a really lousy hangover that just feels cheated out of what she thinks she deserves. How'd you know I had a hangover? Because the quarterbanes have a rather long history of drug and alcohol abuse. I know firsthand. Anyway, we would like to welcome you into the family. I, I don't think I have much of a choice. <laughs> Edward loaned me that money on the condition that I live in the house. That's because he knows you want to stay, and he's trying to make it easy on you to save face. So take him up on it, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And I mean that in the truest sense of the word. You are welcome in the family. And God help you. <laughs> wow, I wish Nicholas could understand things the way you do. But he thinks everything I've told him from the start's a lie. And he's so wrong. I wish I could fix things for you. I relate to. But I can't. I'm still gonna be your friend. And I'm still gonna tell you when you're wallowing in self-pity. But it has got to stop there. Okay. So I guess, uh... Now we need to come up with some graceful excuse for not spending time together. Well, you're the one with the flawless manners. What do you suggest? Hey, did you tell Nicholas about this afternoon? Not yet. Well, you don't have much of a choice, so I want you to pack up Spencer, grab some chips and salsa, because we're going to have a little barbecue at the Spencer's. You know, all the kids, Elizabeth, me, and you.